So today's topic is biodiversity conservation. UNEP that is United Nations Environment Program collaborates with biodiversity related conventions and scientific bodies. So according to UNEP the biological diversity is the variety of life on earth and the natural pattern it forms. Typically it measures variations at genetic, species and ecosystem level. Genetic diversity a single species show high diversity at genetic level example india has 50000 varieties of rice and 1000 varieties of mango species diversity include diversity at species level that is western ghats have greater amphibian species than eastern ghats next is the ecological diversity at ecosystem level india has deserts rainforest mangroves coral reefs wetlands estuaries and alpine meadows than a scandinavian country like norway there are many factors that affect biodiversity like temperature altitude soil geography presence of other species biodiversity in india as per data the varieties of species on earth are 17 lakh out of this 13 lakh are found in india India can be divided into 10 biogeographical regions and 25 biotic provinces. These include Trans Himalayas, Gangetic Plain, Desert, Semi-arid Zone, Western Ghats, Deccan Peninsula, Northeastern Zone, Coastal Land, Himalayan Region and Islands. Now next is the hotspots. So biological hotspots is a region which is prime location for the existence of rich biodiversity but also faces the threat of extinction. The major areas in India include Western Ghats, Indo-Burma region, Eastern Himalayas and Sundaland. So the need for conservation can be categorized into four groups and the first one is narrowly utilitarian reasons. These include direct economic benefits like food, firewood, fiber, industrial products and products of medicinal importance. Farming are also dependent on biodiversity. It is vital for pollination. So flowering field margins, meadows, hedgerows help wildlife survival. Second one is the broadly utilitarian reasons. So under the broadly utilitarian reasons, these include purification of air pollination aesthetic pleasures like walking through thick woods watching spring flowers water purification renewal of soil fertility through decomposition moderation of flood and much more the next is the ethical reasons it relates to what we owe to millions of plants and animals and microbial species we have a moral duty to care for their well-being and pass on our biological legacy in good order to future generations Now the fourth one is social and spiritual benefits the biodiversity effects can be observed through mythological folk dance and folk art uniqueness of each habitat is presented by their plants and animals major threats of biodiversity the colonization of tropical islands have led to the extinction of 784 species some groups like amphibians are more vulnerable to extinction The major threats to biodiversity loss are escalating human population, deforestation, land change, overutilization of natural resources, poaching, pollution are the direct outcomes of increasing population. Humans use resources as fuel, water, food, fodder which eventually leads to loss of biodiversity. Habitat destruction, deforestation and fragmentation. one of the important cause driving animals and plants to extinction the amazon rainforest harboring millions of species is being cut and cleared for soya cultivation and rearing beef cattle after independence india lost million hectares of forest lands and remaining forest cover is under pressure particularly in himalaya central indian uplands and western ghats overuse of natural resources When human population was small their method of collection was in sustainable manner increased human population has almost depleted large animals poaching of wild animals like tiger and elephant one horned rhino musk deer in himalayan forest are facing this threat alien species invasions the introduction of alien species destroy the native species 
Example, dodo. The recent introduction of African catfish for aquaculture purposes is posing threat to indigenous catfish in rivers. Coextinctions. When a species becomes extinct, the plant and animals associated with it also becomes extinct. Climate change. High temperature trigger early flowering. Coral reef mortality increases and erosion is accelerated due to increase in temperature. Sea level rise due to global warming results in disappearance of low-lying areas and extinction of island species. Loss of biodiversity in equatorial region or development in temperature region due to global warming lead to food cycle change at local and global level. Natural calamities like flood, earthquake, drought, cyclones, volcanism are also responsible for depletion of biodiversity. Energy resources Development of resources like fossil fuel, biomass energy, nuclear energy, hydroelectricity has direct implications on biodiversity. Development of hydroelectricity leads to loss of biodiversity. Biodiversity conservation methods. We have two types like in-situ conservation and ex-situ conservation. In in-situ conservation, the plants are protected in their natural habitat, whereas in ex situ, rare plants and animals are taken outside their habitat. And in in-situ conservation, it helps in recovering populations, helping them to develop their distinctive features, whereas in ex situ conservation, it helps in recovering population in order to prevent their extinction. Some of the examples of in situ conservation are national parks, biosphere reserves, wildlife sanctuaries, and examples of ex situ conservation include botanical gardens, zoological parks, and safaris. Is the biodiversity protection steps taken by Indian government? The first is the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, in which it provides for the creation of protected areas and also for the punishment for hunting of specified fauna specified in Schedule 1 to 4. And the next is the Wetland Rules of 2017. Next is the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau, Wildlife Institute of India and the Government of India banned use of diclofenac drug. Project Tiger and Project Elephant are also a part of Indian Government Initiative. Protected areas, national parks, sanctuaries, conservation reserves and community reserves have been created as per Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Next is the important Indian acts passed relating to biodiversity, that is Fisheries Act, Indian Forest Act, Mining and Mineral Development Regulation Act, Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act, Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, Water Prevention Control of Pollution 1974, Forest Conservation Act of 1980, Biological Diversity Act of 2002, and Scheduled Tribes and Other Traditional Forest Dwellers Act of 2006. Next is the policies relating to environment and biodiversity. It includes National Forest Policy, National Biodiversity Action Plan of 2009, National Agricultural Policy, National Water Policy, and National Environment Policy 2006. So these are the topics that comes under biodiversity conservation. I hope you guys like this video. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.